Hi, I'm James Osborne, representing the International Door Association and GarageDoorCare.com. We're talking today a little bit about what you can do on a monthly basis when it comes to your garage door inspection. Some things you should be aware of as we start is there are some high tension areas. So when you're doing this inspection, you should make sure that you don't have your children or your pets nearby. The first part of the visual inspection is extremely important. In this area above the garage door are the springs and the bracket. This area is under extreme tension. So what you're looking for here is just to visually make sure that that bracket is secure against the wall. This is a critical area and if things look out of line or loose, you definitely want to call a garage door professional. Another visual inspection you can perform is to look at the track. Make sure that it's secure and in line. You also want to check the cables to make sure they are not frayed. Also make sure that the rollers run smoothly up and down the track. Another form of general maintenance that you can perform yourself a couple times a year is going to be the lubrication of your garage door. There are three areas to focus to here. They are the springs above the garage door, the hinges themselves between the sections, and then also the roller areas. What you want to use is garage door lubricant. Never use a penetrating oil. Another general inspection that any homeowner can perform is going to be the door balance test. To perform this test, first make sure that the door is in the closed position. Then disconnect the opener from the garage door. Then you want to raise the door about halfway. So what you're looking for here is going to be that the door is not rising or falling on its own. If it is, there could be something that a garage door professional needs to come out and look at associated with the springs. 